Hi, I'm Callum Delietta and we're here today in Chiswick at the Fuller's Brewery to speak with David Hoyle, the People Director of Fuller, Smith & Turner. Hi David, thank you very much for inviting us to this lovely pub in Chiswick. You're very welcome. Um, now obviously I wanted to speak to you today because you've recently announced that you guys are paying the national living wage early. Um, you know, why are you doing that and why do you think that other companies should follow suit? Um, well, we pay 70% of our people already more than any legislative requirement, um, but we believe that we want to pay more for people that want to have their development and develop their careers with us. Um, and we think there's some really good leverage in that, that giving us a competitive advantage, but also it's the right thing to do for people that um, want to build their career with Fullers. So I think others should follow. And my honest view is that as an industry we need to be a bit bolder about hospitality. It's fantastic. Um, interesting to work in. Um, there's great environments, we provide fantastic customer service and people can come and join us and have a career in hospitality, running fantastic businesses in your 20s, having had lots of development training um, and running businesses that have turnover of millions of pounds. I don't think we make enough of that and we should be bold as an industry in pushing that and getting better caliber people to join us. Well that's the thing because with hospitality as a, as a general industry people are often um, I think retention rates historically have been quite bad because you know it's seen as something you go into as young and then you don't really stay and you don't develop. But um, from what you guys are doing, it seems like you're, you're doing a lot. Um, you've also improved the, the terms and conditions of the some of the things for the head chefs and introduced a new bonus scheme and benefits. Um, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so food is an increasingly important part of our business. Um, Simplistically, food sales have doubled in the last five years within Fuller's, so it's very important and we have a very high standard of food. Um, the chef market or recruitment market is very competitive mm -hmm. and we all suffer from trying to get um, the best chefs to join our companies. Um, we already offer um, very good rates, we offer career opportunities for chefs and we're all about fresh food and people can come and join us and work with some fantastic exec chefs. We felt it was time to match the terms and conditions of our best head chefs with our general managers because they participate and they contribute as much as some of our GMs to our business. So that's the logic. We think it's timely to reward these people, um, the head chefs, with the same terms and conditions. And it helps with retention. We want to keep more and more of these people and we want more and more of them to feel that they can have a great career with Fullers. Um, it's a good benefit, terms and conditions benefits. Um, it provides, as you say, a 15% head chef bonus potential, but they'll also get enhanced pension, enhanced life assurance opportunities, and also um, the opportunity to have fuller shares, which our chefs are telling us is really important to them. They really want to feel that they can have a stake in the future, and we think that will help encourage even more retention. And you talk about retention um, and development, but what are you guys doing to, to really pave you know, a career path for your employees? You know, the examples of people going from porters all the way to head chefs, you know, how are you doing that? Um, we found money is important, but money is not the most motivating factor for people that come and work for us. We found that it's around development and opportunities. And we've got some great examples of people that have joined us in development and tend to stay, and we have 70% broadly of our promotions are internal pe people, um, even at a high profile level. So four out of five of the operational reports to the INS MD are internal promotions. And that works its way through the whole organisation. And we have found that if you develop people, they're much more likely to stay, they're much more likely to get the whole Fuller's ethos, and then we create more and more of our own great leaders over time. So for us, it's definitely about development. Um, people that share our values, that want to develop their careers with us um, and we believe we're an employer of choice um, and that's what we try to um, get across to people that want to join this industry. I, I heard that one of your employees even celebrated her 100th birthday, is that right? She did, yeah, she did. So yes, we have, um, as most other pub companies, the profile tends to be quite young, so most of our employees are 18 to 24, 25, mm. but equally we have lots of people that have careers with us or have jobs with us uh, of all ages um, and enjoy working with Fuller's. And how do you retain, well you know you have really impressive retention rates, so how do you retain people when promotion might not necessarily be available? 
it, it's a good question because not everyone can be promoted. Mm. Um, so there's, there's something about Fuller's and the whole ethos and the culture. So that helps attract and engage people. So the whole Fuller's um, proposition helps us. Mm. But also there's other ways that people can contribute and have add value and have a rewarding job within Fuller's. So a couple of examples. We have a service coach network of 155 people. And these aren't necessarily senior people, but these are the people who are passionate about service and love making sure that our customers have the best experience. And um, they get a lot out of that um, uh, network. Um, and some of those will end up being promoted, but a lot of them do it because of their passion for service and wanting to enhance their role in the company. Another good example was yesterday. We had our fifth Connection Week, where we invite one member of every pub team to an event so we give them a great experience and some of those are relatively junior people in our company um, and then they go back to their pub within that week and they share some of the experiences and messages with everyone in those pubs so again these aren't people that necessarily want to be promoted but want to add more value and feel more part of the Fuller's family and there's two examples of how we encourage that so it isn't just about promotion it's about people adding value and contributing in other areas um, and then of course through a training generally we offer great training opportunities, whether it's about wine, beer or food, and that helps develop people so they get more job satisfaction that way. So you've talked a lot about internal promotions and it's something that your CEO himself has said that he's, he's really looking to push and, and, and increase. Um, obviously, occasionally you have to recruit externally. Um, what do you at Fuller's do to, to attract people from outside into yeah. something? There's still always opportunities for external people. If, it's, if it was 100% internal promotions, it can become quite stale and insular. Mm. Um, so there will always be opportunities. Um, we do believe that we're the employer of choice for our industry and we want to attract the best people. Um, so if we can find the best people that share our values and have the potential for, to, to work at a higher level, then they're the kind of people who are interested in contacting us and coming to work for us. Um, if anyone's particularly interested in the inns, we have a great website. Um, of jobs at Fuller's and that gives you a really good flavour of the jobs in the pubs but it also gives you a flavour of what it's like to work for Fuller's so we've used some of the people that work for us to sell the whole mm. Fuller's proposition so there's always opportunities um, if you want to come and work with us then there will be ways that you can come and work with us um, even at a senior level and I can imagine that um, <coughs> some of the development opportunities that you offer act as a quite an attractive uh, opportunity for people outside of the Definitely. We, we need to do a bit of work about how we um, get more of that across to potential candidates. Um, but we offer um, a whole journey for Prince people, a whole journey from apprentice to general manager and beyond, and with development at all of those stages. And we make people aware of that induction. And that includes six development programs that can help people get to the next stage in their career. And what we've done with paying development is we guarantee anyone who's accepted on one of those programmes will get the minimum national living wage ahead of the April increase, as irrespective of the age. Um, we would also guarantee people a 4% increase when they've completed the development, and potentially another 4% post the development at a six month point if we haven't already managed to promote them or find them a new role. So that's how we've tried to use money and link it with development in a quite a targeted way. And it's gone down really well. Um, and I guess this is part of the attraction uh, piece again, but Fuller's has it's been around for centuries. Yeah. Uh, it's a very, very old business. And that heritage, um, how does that help you in your job, I guess, yeah. whether it's both retention and attraction? Um, you're right, it's been around since 1845. And it's a huge part of the attraction piece. So um, it helps make us special. It helps make us different. We are a modern company, a modern successful company, but we're really respectful of our traditions and the way I describe it to people is that when you come to here at Griffin Brewery, this is very much like the heart or the foundation of the whole company um, and that's how people generally view it. Um, it's a family company, but the, the other thing I try to get across is the wider family ethos is very prevalent. Um, it feels like an extended family. You come and work with people that will help you, nurture you if you've got some talent and it's just a great place to work. What part does Fuller's heritage play, I 
guess in both the attraction and also the retention uh, of your employees? It's a huge part. Um, it's the part that people really buy into. Um, there's lots of people that have stayed here 10, 20 years and it's because we're very culturally rich. Um, so although we're a modern, successful company, um, it's the bit that makes us special, makes us different. Um, although we're a modern company, we respect our heritage um, and that kind of underpins our values. So when I try to describe it to people, the, the brewery, the Griffin Brewery, is um, very much the heart or the foundation of the whole company. And if you speak to people out in the pubs and other people that work here, they, they probably sh share that with you as well, the same view. Um, it does sometimes make my job quite easy. So if I give you an example, when the people team look at graduate assessments, which we hold here, um, we're able to introduce them to some of the best people in the industry that they can come and talk to about joining us and having a career with Fuller's. That includes people like Richard Fuller, who is a senior executive here, but also a descendant of one of the founding families. Um, and it's at this historic Griffin site, which is um, very rich in history, sits beside the Thames, um, and it's the last um, brewery of its type in London. So you bring all that together, it's a really compelling proposition to people that might be tempted to join us. And finally, I guess, you know, we've, we've talked about, um, or there's, there's been a lot in the press of, of companies that are offering like free beers for their employees and, you know, different perks that will, will get them through a Friday afternoon or yeah. something like that. Obviously, being a brewery, um, something like beer is, is a lot more accessible. The beer question. Yes, so. that the, is the beer <laughs> question. You know, what do you offer maybe for employees to, to I don't know, in, to do with beer, really? Okay. Um, so people that work here, um, there is a beer allowance or a shop allowance, so they're allowed uh, quite a generous amount of beer or wine that they can use for themselves or share with friends and family. Um, but it isn't just beer in the modern age that we give us terms and conditions or benefits. So we also have something called our indulgence card, which people that work in the pubs and here can get a 15% reduction on food, drink, wine in our pubs for themselves and their family. We also offer great discount rates on rooms in our boutique inns and in our hotels. Um, and there's all sorts of other benefits that we provide. Not all around alcohol, but clearly it's a pub. Yeah. A pub industry, <laughs> pub company. And we do work hard and play hard. Um, another thing we have here every month is we have Thank Fuller's It's Friday, where we provide a free bar for an hour or two once a month who everyone's on site, whether that's from the chief exec to one of the draymen, can come have a drink um, and socialise with everyone else in the company. Wow. So there's a lot we do um, to try and um, enhance the whole experience. It's a shame it's not this Friday. You missed out. <laughs> <I> missed out. <laughs> well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. You're um, welcome, it's been a pleasure. It's been great to hear about your heritage and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you.